A special meeting took place tonight to discuss the housing crisis in the city of Santa Barbara. And as Tracy Lair reports, renters, landlords and homeowners turned out. Santa Barbara is currently not affordable for anyone at any income level. Uh. <laughs> a full house turned out for this community workshop at the Cabrillo Pavilion, hosted by the City of Santa Barbara's Housing Crisis Ad Hoc Committee. Uh, I'm here to be educated on the workshops and the education that's available for folks that are renters in the community. She pays more than 50% of her income on rent, and she's not alone. The city calls that rent burdened. But we also know just through lived experience that folks that are spending 30% or more of their income uh, are really struggling to cover the expenses, uh, other expenses of life like uh, food, uh, clothing, medical expenses, and things like that. Recent surveys show some two and three bedrooms rent for 4000 to 5600 a month in the city of Santa Barbara, with the majority of households making less than $100,000 a year. We're living in the neighborhood I grew up in, and I'd love for Ada to be able to grow up in the same place. And that's not going to be possible if we don't do something about just the out-of-control rents in this city. Renters, homeowners, and landlords who prefer to be called housing providers shared their takeaways following breakout sessions. Participants disagreed on rent control measures but would like to see Santa Barbara City College build student housing and businesses build workforce housing down the road. Santa Barbara has historically always been an expensive community to live in. Um, I think there is hope. I think events like tonight uh, are important in finding solutions to address our ongoing housing challenges. Many of the participants believe it will take public and private partnerships to help solve the housing crisis. In Santa Barbara, I'm News Channel reporter Tracy Lair.